I'm Amy from eSpares and in this video I'll be showing you how to reverse the doors on a Vreco fridge freezer in just a few simple steps. We also have another video on energy saving tips for a fridge freezer, so be sure to stick around until the end to watch that too. But for now, let's get started. Before you begin with this replacement, make sure that your fridge freezer is unplugged from the mains and that all items are safely removed from the door. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure that you have the right tools for the job. So we'll need a small flat hit screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a ratchet with a 9mm and 13mm attachment, and you will also need either a standard flathead screwdriver or a Torx 25. To start, you're going to want to remove the fridge door's top hinge. Once the door's open, you can proceed to insert the small flat screwdriver into the middle of the left-hand side of the door hinge cover. You can then prise the cover open and pull it across the hinge until it's fully removed. You can now remove the two hinge screws using either the flat blade or the Torx 25 screwdriver if you have one. Whilst doing this, it's important to make sure that you have the fridge door supported so that it doesn't fall down once the screws have been removed. Now you're going to need to angle the fridge door outwards until you have the hinge clear of the cabinets. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and lift off the hinge Again, continue to make sure the fridge door is supported during this step so it doesn't fall. Once the hinge is out the way, you can lift the fridge door off the centre hinge and place that out the way too. Now that we've removed the fridge door, we can remove the middle hinge and you can leave the freezer door on for this. Then proceed to remove the screws from the hinge and you can either use your flat blade screwdriver or the Torx 25 screwdriver for this. You can now lift the hinge away and move it to the side. You can then hold the freezer door on either side, open it slightly and lift it off the bottom hinge and then move it to the side. Now we're going to replace the bottom hinge. First, lean your fridge back against a wall so you can reach the hinge properly. We recommend putting a towel on the back of the fridge between the fridge and the wall so that you prevent it from any scuffs or damage. Once the fridge is securely leaning back, Start by unscrewing the foot from the bottom of the hinge. Then you'll need to remove the two head bolts from under the appliance. As these bolts will either be 9mm or Phillips head bolts, either use a 9mm spanner or a ratchet, that should do the trick. Refit the two 9mm Phillips screws into the right hand bottom of the chassis, but do so without the hinge. Unscrew the bottom left hand foot and transfer it over to the right hand side, and do this using the hole between the recently inserted screws. Remove the two 9mm Phillips screws from the bottom left hand chassis and then refit with the bottom hinge that was previously left off from the right hand side. Then refit the bottom hinge foot and you can stand up your appliance and level the feet accordingly. Next we can start to transfer the three blank caps from the left hand side of the chassis to the right hand side. And all we need is a small flathead screwdriver to loosen them a little, pull them out and put them into the right hand side centre hinge location holes. Next we can turn the freezer door upside down and transfer the door stop and the bush from one side to the other. Be sure to note the orientation of the door bracket when you transfer it from one side to the other. Carefully prise the bush out of the door and transfer it onto the right hand side. Then fit the plate over the bush in the same orientation as it was before. Now we're going to flip the freezer door back upright and then swap over the bush and the cap. Next, we can reattach the freezer door by slotting it onto the bottom hinge. We can close it and hold it into place as we reattach the central hinge.
To be able to reverse the fridge door, first we need to remove all the fridge door furniture, which just slides away like this. Now the furniture is all removed, we can turn the door upside down and swap over the bush bracket. I'm going to start by transferring the bush to the other side of the door. Just note that the doorstop isn't transferable. So you'll need to use the doorstop provided when you bought your appliance. Or if you don't have that, you can fit the bush without it. It just means that your door will open all the way. Now we can flip the fridge door upright again and remove the top right hinge cover. Now this isn't transferable to the other side, but when you bought your appliance, you will have one that fits on this side. But if you can't find it, it doesn't matter. We can also refit the door furniture whilst we're here as well. On the existing top hinge, there should be a 13 millimeter nut. You can unscrew this using a 13 millimeter ratchet or spanner and then screw it back on on the other side. Next, we can transfer the blanking plate from the left-hand side to the right using our small flathead screwdriver. Finally, we can reattach the door by slotting it onto the central hinge, then supporting the door as we reattach the top hinge. Now once the screws are fully inserted, we can finally fit the hinge cover plate. We hope this video has helped you successfully reverse the doors on your Beko fridge freezer. We also have another video with handy energy saving tips for your fridge freezer, so be sure to give that a watch too. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more appliance repairs, maintenance videos, and also product demonstrations. Thanks for watching.